we got ourselves a project. Manco Dingo go-kart that has seen better days. That's the factory axle out of this go-kart. Four feet wide to the outside of the tires is where we're at now. I kind of want to hang around that. Still want to keep it kind of small, kind of short. I don't want to run into width itch issues and having to deal with that on trails and stuff. So we're going to keep it as narrow as possible. So I'm going to get to chopping on this axle. This is the rear axle setup, most of the parts I'm going to use here. Got our two axle shafts. This little guy is our main axle, which that sprocket and brake rotor will be attached to. And those two bearings, and then these guys, is what I'm using in the rear to get our independent suspension. I got these at uh, CarQuest, is where I'm at where I got them. I think I've seen them at Tyson's too. I know that's kind of a limited area where those places are, but I would imagine you could find these at a tractor supply or something like that. They're basically a PTO U-joint, I believe, and they got a one-inch shaft that is keyed. It'll fit perfectly onto a one inch live go-kart axle. So that's what we're going to put on there. I'm going to get it all assembled show you what it looks like. Alright guys, we got the axle put together here. Take a look at this shit. Pretty freaking slick. Now, as you can probably figure out, this is not going to be a dual A-arm setup. This is going to be single A-arm, basically because I'm cheap and don't want to freaking spend a bunch of money on it, so that's why we're going this route. Anyways, comes in at five feet wide, so we gained another foot in width from that center section, splitting the axles in half and bringing them out, which so I guess I wonder how it would look on that freaking go-kart frame. Let me get the go-kart frame. So it's a little wide. It's not too bad. I think we're going to leave it. I can live with that. By the time you think about it, you put an A-arm here and a shock going up to and having a roll bar and stuff there. I think it'll fill out, make it look a lot better now. I mean, I got I kind of cut the frame off so I could manage that a little bit better. This is probably the only part of the original frame that I'm going to use. I'm going to make the whole front different so I can get the suspension on up there, but this is it. She ain't too bad. Got a new power plant coming for it. Uh, Chinese ATV type motor. It's going to have three speeds and, and a reverse and electric start, and that's going to be really nice. Hopefully I can get some tubing for it tomorrow, go in between there and build this out so I can mount the axle to the frame and get the motor on the back and then build the front shit up. Hopefully we get this thing going. Alright guys, back on the go-kart. As you can see, I already kind of welded it up some. Sawy, if you wanted to see that, but 
I didn't have a whole lot of time to videotape it, but I just welded those guys on and that on. So you didn't really miss a whole lot, but what we're going to do today is we're going to get this, uh, some tubes notched out and welded on for the seat. And back here we got the tubes to put in there so we can weld our axle bracket and hopefully get the axle in today. So yeah, get to it. Fuck is the battery. All right, guys, got the axle assembly jammed in there. Actually, remarkably fits well, at least for eyeballing it. So now I gotta weld that all together. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you kids, it's a fucking jungle out there. Y'all see me fly and never drop down, drop down, smoking high am I am not round, I'm not round, no denying what I got now, I got now, keep an eye out, keep it locked down, locked down, see me fly and never drop down, drop down, smoking high am I am not round, I'm not round, no denying what I got now, I got now, keep an eye out, keep it locked down, locked down. Black Dodge Ram.